This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadget TV. Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the PLX Kiwi Wi-Fi. This device is about $150, and what it is, is actually a diagnostic computer for your car. So basically, you'll plug this end here into your onboard diagnostic port, the OBD port, not to be confused with the ODB port, uh, and then that will actually power this device, which basically becomes an ad hoc uh, in-car Wi-Fi device. Now, you're not actually surfing, uh, you're not getting data or anything like that. What you're really doing is translating um, the data that comes out of the onboard diagnostic port uh, through Wi-Fi onto your iPhone. This is the iPhone model. There's also a Bluetooth model, which is $100 or $50 less and works on Android devices. So you can see here, this is actually just a screen cap of uh, the setup process. You'll see the device appear here in your list of Wi-Fi networks. And then after you've connected, you can do things like you can get a, a read on your speedometer. This is actually a direct screen cap from within the app. And you can choose uh, some different options for how the speedometer is going to look. You can look at it in either um, a vertical or a horizontal configuration. Now you can get data like uh, fuel trim, torque, uh, there's like air pressure, all kinds of really detailed data. So if you're a gearhead, something you might really want to take a close look at. Now, onboard diagnostic ports appear in basically every car that's manufactured 1996 or later. Obviously, the uh, higher up on the um, scale you go, so if you, for example, buy a luxury car made in 2010, uh, you'll be getting a lot more um, data out of the, out of the uh, onboard diagnostic port. For example, my 1996 Saab, I only really get um, RPMs, uh, fuel line pressure, and a couple of other, um, a couple of other pieces of data. Now, important to note that after you purchase this device, you will have to download uh, one of a couple of different applications. Uh, we have them here on the iPhone. This is Rev. This one costs, I believe it's uh, about 50 bucks. Uh, Dash Command, that one's $40. Another option is Fuzzy Car, which won't give you quite the level of uh, detailed data that you'll get in the other two that I mentioned, but it is free. One other important note is that you can actually, uh, you can do diagnostics of your vehicle uh, on your iPhone. So you can, for example, if your check engine light comes on, you can find out why. Uh, if it's an unimportant check engine light, you can actually reset it and solve the problem yourself. So if you're a backyard mechanic, something you'd really want to take a look at. Like I said, if you're a, a, a gearhead uh, racing around the track, again, something you might want to take a look at. So that's a quick look at the PLX Kiwi Wi-Fi. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadget TV.